Hi, I'm an Italian me, and this video will be about Natalia. After her rework, Natalia has been extremely viable in my opinion, and in the right hands, she can be even harder to handle than any other assassin. For me, this emblem set and execute combo has worked the best. Not only does it help me secure kills, it also helps me avoid diving into dangerous situations just to get a kill. Now let's talk about her skill set. Natalia's first skill lets her dash twice, but you need to hit an enemy, even a minion, once to be able to dash again. Her second skill throws a smoke bomb that does three things. Boosts your attack speed, makes you immune to all basic attacks, even enhanced ones like Kufras or Aldous, and slows down enemies. Her ultimate lets you trigger her passive instantly. You can cast this twice, but there is roughly a 2 second buffer before you can cast it again. A thing to note when casting her ultimate is that after casting the ultimate, any damage you take during the buffer time will not remove your passive buff. Now for the most important skill, her passive. Before, her passive lets you stay close to any enemy and never get spotted, unless you get hit. They made changes to that to probably balance with her new ultimate. Now, if you stay close to any enemy for roughly 2 seconds, you will get spotted even in stealth. Meaning, you can be targeted with spells or basic attacks. You still have your passive buff, but now they know where you are. Things to note about her passive. The claw mark icon indicates you are in stealth. The eye icon indicates you've not been spotted. A huge circle is the detection range. And if you try to tap the attack button with no enemies, you will be able to see her extended attack range. Another subtle hint to know if you've been spotted is to take note of the lighting in your screen. When Natalia enters stealth, the screen deems just a little bit. Once she gets spotted, the screen will return to its original brightness. Out of all the assassins, Natalia is the deadliest at level 1. You can score your team first blood on the very first minion wave before rotations even begin, or before anyone even reaches level 2. Be careful though, as with any champion, she is weak to certain champions. To give a few, Aldous, Kufra, Cho, and Martis. If you time her skills right, you can make awesome plays. You can burst down an enemy before silence is up, escape enemy clutches, or even dodge some control skills.
本当の賢者に答えしたことはない。And that's it for this tutorial. If you're a Natalia player or if you fought any Natalia players, feel free to leave your experiences in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Keep safe! <laughs>